If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today we have brand new Ultimate Legends in the game. We have Steve Young and Greg Lloyd. I talked a little bit about Greg Lloyd in a video last night that came out. Um, so I've already put my opinions out there on that card. Solid, solid card. Little bit disappointing in the fact that it doesn't have great coverage attributes. Now obviously, Greg Lloyd wasn't a great coverage linebacker or anything, so I wasn't expecting that. But it was a little bit disappointing that it's kind of just like mediocre as all hell in that area. Although it is a beast of a run stuffer, I will say that, and, and a solid pass rusher still. Uh, but Steve Young, Steve Young's got the speed and he has the passing attributes as well. That is arguably the best quarterback ultimate. Well, actually, I guess the only other ultimate legend quarterback right now is Mike Vick. So I would say he's better than Mike Vick. They're both left-handed though. Kind of odd that there are only two quarterbacks so far, ultimate legends, and both of them are left-handed. So a little bit disappointing in that area, but I'm sure we'll be getting like an Elway and, and a couple other ones here before the end of the season. But today, guys, we are going to be opening up some Ultimate Legend packs. Uh, looks like we can actually do six of them today uh, with coins, which is good. So uh, I've told you guys I'm going to be trying to spend all these damn coins by the end of the year. So uh, we're going to start it off with three Ultimate Legend packs. Then we're going to go into a few Pro packs, and then we'll finish it with three more Ultimate Legend packs. So uh, we'll get right into that. We're not going to waste too much time, guys, today. Um, obviously, guys, Ultimate Legend packs. One Ultimate Legend item is guaranteed, so it could be an Ultimate Legend player. Eight gold or better items, which all of those could also be Ultimate Legend players. And then, uh, well, I guess any of the two, the boss legends today, uh, either Young or Greg Lloyd. And then uh, four other player team items like the Pro Packs have. So, let's do this, guys. 100,000 coins. These things are pretty much always a ripoff, but it's only we only need that one time of pulling that boss legend. Okay, we get the badge. Uh, those things drop in price like a tank on the weekends when they have these uh, these packs in the game, obviously, for obvious reasons. And we get a whole bunch of gold and garbage out of this first pack, so not much out of this one. Although each one of these does contain quite a few uh, gold cards, so it does get us closer to the uh, large quick sells that we like to do. So uh, we'll continue on here and continue to open up some more packs. Looking for something beastly, and we get a 96 overall, Ray Malauga. Okay. I was not expecting that. I honestly didn't even know that this card was still it was in the game, to be honest with you. 87 speed. Man, at this point in the game, that's a little bit disappointing. Catching 68. I bet his run support is crazy. Yeah, 96 tackling. Let's look at the hit power. Let's find that hit power. Where the hell is it? I can never. There we go. 99 hit power. So, uh, yeah, he's a beast. As far as uh, run support goes, the zone coverage in 82 is not terrible. It's not great, but um, whenever I'm using, or I use my middle linebacker, typically I use him. So typically I'm looking for somebody with higher speed and better catching, maybe some higher jumping attributes, but still, that's a solid pull. And we get a Ladarius Green Movers card, okay. This card might move into the starting lineup here for me because right now I have uh, Jordan Cameron as my tight end too, and I actually run a lot of two tight end sets or sets where my tight end lines up at like fullback or even at wide receiver. So he might end up actually being in the lineup here for me. Let's take a look at him real quickly here. I want to compare him real, real quickly here to my uh, to my Jordan Cameron. Speed-wise, yeah, he blows him out of the water. 95 speed, uh, release is better, route running is a little bit lower. Uh, let's see here. Run blocking, he's actually higher, too. I was not expecting that. Catching, he's kind of low, to be honest with you. Uh, Cameron's got him beaten all of those attributes, but he's still solid. So the speed uh, upgrade and the fact that he's six foot six. although Cameron's six foot five, so it's not a whole lot of a difference. But, uh, yeah, definitely a, a beastly, beastly card here. I'm happy to pull that for sure. 95 jumping as well. So nice pulls in this one this ultimate legend pack is looking pretty good we still have the ultimate legend item to open too and there it is it's a badge son of a b that's all right so two decent pulls there two guys who could potentially start for my team in this pack so not bad we got one more of these before we move into some pro packs and then like i said guys we'll wrap it up with the other three ultimate legend packs now what i will say to you guys is you see me uploading videos where I'm opening six of these things. I would not recommend it to you. Uh, and we get a 97, right as I say that, we get a 97 star Latulale. Oh my goodness, dude. We're getting some nice pulls at this point. We're definitely getting some nice pulls. 
Let's compare them real quickly to my starting D tackles, who are not anywhere near as good. 100 strength, 99 tackling, 99 block shed, 94 power move, and 75 speed. Damn, he's actually really beastly. This is a really, really nice card. Let's go. I finally have a defensive tackle who's a beast. I love it. Definitely love it. That is a really nice pull. I normally start Deacon Jones as my D tackle. Um, as one of my two D tackles, I should say. And we get another badge there. But uh, So we've gotten three badges out of three packs so far. Now, what I was saying is that I typically don't recommend that people pull these Ultimate Legend packs or any of these types of packs. The only reason that I, that I do it is because I'm doing it for YouTube, man. Like, if I was actually trying to build my team or, or uh, you know, just do things intelligently, I would not be doing it like this. The only reason I do it is for entertainment purposes. Um, so, uh, like I said... Don't waste your coins on these, uh, and honestly, at this point, money, I don't even know. I mean, obviously, if you've got the money, the extra money to spend and you want to, go for it, but, like, dude, these things are expensive. Like, it's no joke to be dropping, what is that, 8,000 8, points, probably, like, what, 70, 75 bucks, something like that on packs? Like, at this point in the Madden season, we've got less than two months left, guys, before Madden 17 comes out. So, uh, yeah, it definitely is not the time, in my opinion, to be dropping a ton of money on Madden Ultimate Team. But, you know, if you enjoy doing it, you go for it, man. We'll continue here to, pro to pull some more Pro Packs. Not really anything coming out of these yet. I'm not really that surprised, to be honest with you. But we'll do a couple more of these to see if we can get anything. And then we'll move on to the Ultimate Legend Packs to wrap it up. Um... Will be right around 3 million coins when this is done. Obviously, I've still got a few more uh, packs to open, so we might be able to pull some something good and uh, get our coins up a little bit higher. But I'm still planning on buying a Ultimate Legend uh, wide receiver or possibly one of the Memorial Day ones or something. I'm not exactly sure. And we get an all pro pack redemption, so we will open that in this pack opening video as well. Uh, let's see here. And nothing else out of it. So we'll go back and open that up real quickly. Come on. Give me something good out of this all pro pack. Let's go, Aaron Rodgers. You're on the cover. Be great. Gold batch is guaranteed out of these packs, I believe. Kevin Dodd, Donald Thomas, and that is about it. So, yeah, not much out of that pack, unfortunately. But it was a free pack anyway, so not a big deal. Um, but, yeah, like I said, guys, I'm, I'm still actually considering buying myself a, a second Ultimate Legend wide receiver. I do have a Jerry Rice right now that I've been using, and I've been having fun with that. But I would really like to get myself one of, like, the Vincent Jackson, Julio Jones, Herman Moore, Larry Fitzgerald maybe type, like, that level of wide receiver somewhere in that price range. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you, what one of those do you think that you want to – that you – think I should try out because uh, they all look like they're fairly similar to one another I actually think the Larry Fitzgerald might be the best I know he's six foot three and some of the other ones are six foot four and six foot five we get a random Peter Bull where rookie of the year collectible so that's nice um, but yeah let me know in the comment section below guys what do you think about that because um, I'm really interested in getting one of those I'm not sure what one I want to get quite yet so continuing on here, we got like, let's do two more pro packs. How does that sound? And then we will wrap it up again with the three ultimate legend packs. That second ultimate legend pack was the freaking fire, man. I know it probably still didn't end up being worth it, but like as far as like pulls go, that's actually not a bad set of pulls to be completely honest with you. you get a got like a what a 96 overall and then uh, that beastly tight end as well. And then we got that Starla Tulele as well in the third one. So hopefully we can continue those types of pulls. The high overall cards, I'd definitely like to see those. So, all right, we didn't get anything out of those pro packs, but we do have the three Ultimate Legends still. So we'll try and pull those right now. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on. Where are you at, boss cards? Give me one time this year where I pull a freaking limited time card. And we get a Deacon Jones year collectible. I don't think that's worth a whole lot at this point in the season. But, uh, all right, at least it's not a badge, though. Although I'm sure the badge is actually probably worth more, to be honest with you. But I would really love to pull a freaking boss card out of one of those Ultimate Legend slots. We got two more. Come on. Let's do it one time. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. And we get the freaking badge, son of a B. Which probably means we're not going to get anything. We get another Star Latulale. A second 97 overall pull, same card. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll have to sell one of those at least, but... Alright, well, we got one more Ultimate Legend pack, guys. 
Wish me some luck. This is the final one. Might be the final time that we get Ultimate Legend packs here in Madden 16 Ultimate Team. And the first card out of the pack is the New Orleans Saints. We're going to go from the back this time. Michael Johnson, New England coach. Bengals away jersey, Brandon Oliver, Roddy White, Jermon Bushrod. Come on. Where is the freaking boss card? MetLife Stadium. And we get a Gilbert Brown collectible. Give me a break. Wow, trash. Richie Incognito and Jeff Schwartz to wrap it up. So, unfortunately, we don't pull a boss legend, but we did get some nice pulls out of this one. Two 97s and 96. A uh, couple other really nice cards, and we got some collectibles as well. So, that is going to do it for today's pack opening video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.